lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. Seriously, I should upgrade to the 21st century. Of you in a dark but I like it old school. In a moment of desperation. I can't believe I still and have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Isn't that but crazy? I like it old school. Too obvious? Look at this crap. How can I show this to what Mr. Jefferson? To capture people with the I can hear the class laughing at me now. Innocence. She had a brilliant eye. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. I have to admit. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie America. quota. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. I do Which love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? 
Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? You can find I can out hear the class laughing at me now. Textbook. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, huh. this might make a cool shot. Is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh. Not for Hi, Max. I had my moment in the camera, I am. Everybody should oh, have totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have for you. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on- You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you always Welcome to the real cute. world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture, Chinese class. 
because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying $100. Would you please? It's so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> Kevin doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Driving a car by the seaside It looks like she's been gone for months It looks like she's been gone for months Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! 
I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Can you give me I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. And white. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep it together, of Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and when children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. Uh -huh. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. 
Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about... A thousand picks by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that... <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. I I'm need so a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. 
Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. <laughs> 